Hello, my friends. Welcome back to the Chewin Chat. And I'm Joan. And if you're returning, welcome back. And if you're new, welcome to our little family we have. And today we're doing KFC. <clears throat> I tell you, I, I think a stomach virus or something may be going around. I, I don't know. And um, I took a little nap. I woke up. I'm feeling better. I've been wanting some chicken for several days. I was like, so it's late. It's almost 10 o'clock. It's okay. I'm going to order some chicken. I brought my potatoes and gravy in here. I don't know if I'm going to open it up. I might just open it. Take a couple bites. I don't know. We'll see. And I decided, let's try the coleslaw. Um, they're, they used to have really good corn. But their corn has gotten just terrible. Ugh. Let's give it a try. Probably not the best way, you're not feeling too well. Okay. I can talk pepper, huh? Feeling the hiccup coming out. No, didn't happen. All right, let's get on this chicken. I got a breast and two wings. And I was going to go in my studio and grab the hot honey. Oh, well. Hmm. I was going to order McDonald's. Then I started thinking, well, I have to order, order Subway. I was thinking about Arby's. Then I was thinking about ordering cut badge. I'm on with this because those are not it's going about the same price of this meal. We'll have leftovers. Those we're not gonna have no leftovers. Mm, that's so good. I was thinking it was gonna be terrible being so late at night. I think our key is see those at 10. I bought Walmart groceries the last three or four days. I got food in there. I got two different kinds of sausages, two packages of ground meat. Who knows what? Um. 
Well, I'm trying to take it easy. I went to town this morning, did some errands. I was going to stop and get something to eat. I told my son, I said, he rode with me. I said, you want to stop and grab a little something? I was really getting hungry. And I'd been up like three or four o'clock in the morning and I was so hungry. And I was like, no, I'm going to eat later. I was like, well, let's drop them, grab something real quick. He goes, oh no, I finished the pizza pizza from the refrigerator the other night. I was like, okay. When I get home, later, I will, when we get home, I'll just make something. I was walking to the back door to let the dogs in. I got this funny feeling over me. And, um, I, I, I never felt this feeling before. Um, I don't know if my blood sugar had dropped or what, but, um, I started getting really, um, dizzy. I've never felt like this before. And I, was, I felt like I was about to, well, if the, if the door and the wall wasn't there, I would have been off on the floor. <clears throat> but our, our back door is just all glass. And that's got a button where you push down and it's got these uh, blinds in it. Well, I saw that I was about to go through that door. This is when I kind of move myself over. I hit kind of the side of the door in the wall. I have a chair, my dining, one of my dining room chairs at my back door sitting there. Because my table holds six. So my two armchairs I have on the wall. I had to sit down for a minute. Thank goodness that chair was there. I don't know what that was. So, I was nauseous all day. chicken. Oh yeah, that's so good. Yeah, them taters, I think I might just um Save those for more. Okay, so they used to have green beans. They used to have um baked beans, corn cob. What else do they have? They don't have much cheese from anymore. I'm not that crazy for them. mac and cheese. My kids will eat it if it comes out of the craft food box. I've never been that much of a fan of, of a macaroni and cheese. It doesn't matter if it comes, someone makes it homemade, um, if it comes from restaurant whatever well then we had french fries 
You got to choose four things because I got a 16 piece meal. Order two mashed potatoes and gravy. Order the coleslaw and a french fry for my son. I hope he went in there and got his food. I don't know who told him how many times to go get food. He only has to take maybe six steps and from his bedroom door to the table. That's all for my special friends. Y'all love it. That dark pepper makes you burp. I had to go do some business and when I was getting out of the car, I said, oh, I'm gonna get me some Dr. Pepper. Yeah, well, time I walked into that where I was doing business. <coughs> About to open up the door and I, I had a burp. Uh, thank goodness no one was there. Oh. Hey, maybe Dr. Pepper started making burp be You know, for a while they wouldn't do nothing. All right, we're gonna eat this good breast. Let's do this. We can do a thumbnail. I always forget about eating my trout. I've always learned to use my fingers for a while. Hey, let's use our teeth for a minute. Mm. I'm gonna say, if you hadn't eaten KFC in a while, go get some. It's delicious. Mm. Anyone else sick? A stomach bug, head cold. Hmm. This is probably going to be a short video tonight. Right? Hmm. That's really well. And, um, I'll put something on my other two channels. I have no channel now. Every time I get a new channel, it takes me at least two or three weeks to remember what it was called. Well, my first channel, The Rich Life, was called Life of Jones. It was going to be me cooking and eating and me doing, me doing housework and whatever. Just ordinary life. My life. <clears throat> Let me see. I think it, I had this, that channel for at least two or three years. 
And I finally said, no one could find me. And I looked and stuff and I could never find them. They always thought I was, um, God, and that's Sam, Joan of Arc. You look up Life of Joan, you don't see Joan of Arc. There's some other channel called Rich Life Tune. They got those million subscribers, so. It's some family. That's a little bit of piece of bone. I asked my friend, Tom Mills, to help me get this channel monetized. He helped me. I, I don't want to bug him right now to ask him how do I, because I, I, I know he's a computer expert, but I, I, just, I just feel stupid. I never learned this stuff. I'd rather just have someone do it for me. <sighs> i figure out how. Maybe one of y'all know how to do it. I'm gonna go with my description. Hmm. And, uh, can put the link to my other two channels. I don't know how to do that. I told the story not too long ago, a week or two ago. I don't know which channel it is because since I mostly do about the same thing over on the rich life, yeah. Um, this one is my eating and talking. The rich life. I'm trying to get it to round one direction. I'm trying to get it to. I was doing. Um, figured out. I was going to do. A few cooking. Um. Eating and chatting. Um, I'm trying to figure out, finish up my Barbie series. I've been doing for almost two years now. No piece of bone there. Uh, that'll be finished up in 2025. Um, and then I do when every once in a while when new products, um, foods come out, I'll eat them and review them and taste them. <clears throat> but, um, I thought, well, it's a little bit too much, so I decided, um, I'm going to start another channel for just my cooking. And so, you'll get to watch me do my cooking easy, simple. Um, recipes. It's not going to be making baked Alaska or some fancy something. It's just going to be regular homemade meals that I make regularly or whatever. Where I find a, a recipe on Pinterest or somewhere 
on Facebook. Well, give it a try. If it's simple. Because I know we're all busy. Finish with that. Uh -oh. Yeah, I, he's looking at my food. I had this big bowl of grapes. I just bought them a couple days ago from Sam's. Oh, it was after I had that little kind of a dizzy spell. It's like, I, I need some eating now. It's like, I, I don't want any of chips or cookies or cheese slices. Whatever. It's like, I, I need some food. And um, I had those and it's like, I'm going to wash those real quick and a few of them, they don't taste like nothing. Let me see, since they've gotten warm. I was like, maybe since they're cold. Mm. Now they taste like some of them old. Some old wine that didn't turn bad. Let me try this cool slum. It really needs some salt and pepper in it. Not my favorite. I don't know which horse is though. The corner. The coleslaw. I know, I don't got no earrings on. I do have a good one there. I'm gonna let y'all go. We're up to almost 24 minutes. I got a big pile. I got at least three or four loads of clothes here. I gotta go wash. I'm about to be running out of underwear. Anybody running out of underwear for? Yeah, I don't think I've washed clothes almost two weeks. Somewhere now. I don't know. Oh. oh, Lord, excuse me. That was kind of starting to bubble up. That was starting to bubble, bubble up my chest. Mm. I thought it wasn't going to end well. Mm. I wonder if anybody's ever accidentally thrown up on YouTube before. Tom about me seeing. I was watching one of their old film their, their um, videos always coming up and they're always popping up in the middle of the night I'd be sleeping and all of a sudden I hear his wife talking <clears throat> his ex his dead wife I hear her talking <laughs> it's, it's kind of spooky sometimes <laughs> and I'll get if I'll watch the video and I was thinking while well, going about something, it's like, I think that was an old video. 
What now? That was an old video. I'm starting to get everything kind of crisscrossing each other. Trying to figure out what was old, what was new. But I think it was an old video. I'm talking about um, throwing up. He hadn't thrown up since he was a teenager. I forgot how old he was. 17 years old or something. Let me tell you. Um, it's been. Let me see. I can't believe it. It's probably been 20 years. Oh, this is the last time I thought it was home. Has it been that one? I just probably been that one. Um, we only had one car at the time. Ashton was little. He was, I'm going to say, six or seven years old. My other son, he was working at Walgreens. My mother was retired. She would go on uh, every Saturday or every other Saturday a downtown Brian and she would sketch. And um, she'd invite other people to come sketch with her. <sighs> and um, I think my son at me and Ashton was home. My son drove my mother downtown Brian drop her off no it wasn't no it was no it wasn't that's not how it ended no it's not uh, I dropped them off me and Ashley went and dropped them off I dropped my son off at work I went and dropped my mother off downtown Brian I went home as soon as I opened up the door I ran to the bathroom. I want to tell you, it was probably, I think goodness Ashton was big enough to go make him a sandwich, open up, you know, make cereal or something. I was in the bathroom, on the toilet. It was coming out both ends for at least eight or nine hours. I thought I was dying at the end of it because that was a long time to be coming out both ends. Anyone had that for? It's it's terrible. I'm still blame I'm still blaming it on that um McDonald's fish sandwich. I had it day four. It tasted terrible. I was starting to feel queasy then. <clears throat> Cause my s friend uh, Susan, she's Catholic, and you couldn't eat um you gonna eat fish or whatever on that, that Friday, so. I was like, hey, I'll do it with you. You know, we'll just, I'll just order this fish sandwich with you. Never ate it again. <clears throat> Back to my story. I came home, was we'll sick. <clears throat> I got to the time where it's time for my son to get off work. He's like, he calls him, like, Mom, you need to come pick us up. I, I, I can't leave. I'm sick. <clears throat> I'm throwing up. I'm, I, I'm on the toilet. I, I can't move. And um, my mother, I think she used a um, payphone downtown, Brian, or used someone's phone or something to call me. I, I, I can't come get you. I, I'm sick. I, I'm dying here. And, um, you know, by that time, you got all that. Um, what's it called? Bile, all that stuff from your stomach coming up, that acid. And, um, so she had to ask somebody. I think they were, she met them downtown Brian to draw. It was the first time she ever met him. I think she talked to him on Facebook or something. That's how she met him. They were nice enough to take her to go pick up my son 
at work and then dropped them off at the house. My mother said that was so embarrassing. And I was like, well, that's, I couldn't move. You could have walked home, I guess. Cause I could move. I think the time they got home, I was finally in my bed. I remember I had washcloths all over my head. My head was already soaking wet anyway. So I had um, cold washcloths all over my head and my neck and my chest and stuff because I was just so hot and so sick. And um, as soon as they got back, I was in bed and I went to sleep. But that's the last time I've really had what you call the one up. And she was so sick. Man. I wouldn't wish that on nobody. It was terrible. And I'm sure everyone has had that problem where you got to be on the toilet and you're throwing up. You got the trash can. Your trash can comes your lover because your head's right down in it. <laughs> so, all right, I'm going to let y'all go. Make sure to subscribe, like, comment, share, click that bell notification. Make sure it's all black, and I will see y'all next video. Bye bye.